everybody! Good afternoon! Hi! My name is Ruby Schrader and I'm coming into you live from Columbus, Ohio and today I will be sharing with you my three, three top things that I actually learned during the um, virtual success summit that I have attended these um, weekends. So we started Friday until um, Sunday. It has been such an amazing session. So if you're watching this on a replay, uh, make sure you comment hashtag replay. And if you ever do find value in this, um, I would appreciate if you show me some love or share it with your friends. Hi, good afternoon to you guys. I'm Shader and I'm based here in Columbus, Ohio. So yeah, I just wanted to share this uh, three top things that I've learned. Um, if you don't know, I actually run a small travel business here from home and I'm also um, a marketing representative for a company. So basically, the Success Summit is all about um, you know people who are actually involved in a network marketing industry and how to be professional. And what actually is amazing with the industry is how great the community was and I'm just I would say I'm really grateful and I'm really blessed to actually find an amazing community and a mentor who is always so giving and helpful and truly one of the best person that I have ever met actually online I've never met him in person but hopefully one day I go to Dubai and I get to meet it to meet this guy but yeah okay so let's go to the point the first one that I truly enjoyed um, what I truly love is when you actually learned that it's okay not to be liked by everybody I used to be um, like a how do you say that like you always please people around you i'm always such a giver and actually when you learn to understand and accept that not everybody will like you it is such a freedom i know for some of us it might be very uh little thing it might be very silly it's it doesn't make any difference but you know with social media we are so accustomed to um, getting all these likes and comments in each and every of our posts it's because it triggers some hormones in our body and it makes it makes us happy and even though we're trying to deny that it it actually is the case so um, the number one is yeah once you learn to accept the fact that it's okay not to be liked by everyone it makes such a big difference um, I would have to go through my notes and pick because to be honest with you I could I could do more than three and <laughs> there's just <laughs> so much stuff um the next the second one i would say which i have always been learning and training myself for is if you don't ask you don't get i know you probably have heard that many times from other people too but it's true um but yeah if you don't ask you don't get so if you're also in the type of business where you have to ask people to take a look of what you're offering if you're a business owner if you want them to try out uh, you know your products or to be one of your clients your customer you have to ask and if you don't they're not gonna come for you <laughs> it is your responsibility to ask and in the beginning stage it was very challenging for me to do that i still did not have that confidence um you know it, it comes in the territory it, it's confidence comes from within and you know when the more you do things the more the more the more you just don't care i mean it, it doesn't sound like it's right right when i say you don't care of course you do care but my point is, regardless of what the answer of the other person would be, it is your responsibility to ask. And it's entirely up to them if they want to stay in their own movie. One of the speaker actually said, Hi, Erwin, how are you doing today? Erwin is in Dubai. You're still in Dubai, right? But anyway, so one of the speaker actually explained that when a person rejects you or when someone tells you no, it's because they don't understand what you're really uh, offering to them, but it's not about you. It's because they wanted to stay in their own film, in their own movie, 
and they want to be the lead actor and actresses in that and they don't want to expand they don't want to go out of that comfort zone they don't want to leave that safe zone hence they just have to keep saying no and you have to understand that it's not actually you they're saying no for it's because they just don't know so if you have i've, I've always remembered this um this uh, statement that this um, marketing person told me before that if you have a service or a product that you think somebody will actually benefit from it, it is your responsibility to make sure that you are in front of these people to show them that you have something to offer. And it's not the other way around. And sometimes we think like, no, they will come. But actually, it's not the case. So if you don't ask, you don't get so that's my second point and the third one in network marketing industry um i'm not sure if you're familiar with that but it's it's more of um it's actually i think i came into a realization that after this three days after this amazing session that i had with fraser books and the rest of the speakers it made me realize how beautiful the industry is and truly we only have one job description and then that is to share the service or the business to everyone that we know who can benefit from it. Anyone or everyone we know who would love to have time freedom or financial freedom or even personal freedom. And that's what everyone is looking for. At least that's what I want for myself. And that is only the job description that I will have to do. And if you think about it, it's actually freaking beautiful. Like. I, I I don't know, I, up until today, I am super excited. I'm just super pumped. And I'm just so blessed that I got the chance to participate in this summit because it was such an eye-opener. So um, one of the speaker, Peter Sage. Hi, Peter Sage. I'm going to tag you in this um, video, but I really enjoyed your session. Peter has actually enlightened me so much because I am a very emotional person and he explained our industry in such a way where you actually can be very powerful and um, I'm trying to think of the word uh, unstoppable I think that's the right term to say when you become emotionally matured and understand that it kind of relates to the second um, points that I told you, like if you don't ask, you don't get, that all those rejections that you're getting, it's okay. When you become emotionally mature, you understand that it's okay to be receiving all those rejections. And also when you realize that... Um, Hi, Natasha. How are you today? Natasha is in the UK. Good afternoon. Thank you for the hearts. Thank you for all the like. Yeah, and also when you understand that life is such a growth-centric experience and not comfort-centric experience, I think that just blew my mind off, if that's the right term. I think, I, I think that's just so profound that every time I read it, I actually get goosebumps. And I feel very emotional about it because I think it's so true. We are so accustomed to, um, you know, being and staying in our comfort zone. And when, when every time we encounter all those rejections, all those hurts, we shut down. But actually, when you're matured enough emotionally, spe specifically, it makes a huge difference. So... Yeah, currently my dog decided to whine. There is something under my couch. <laughs> but he would just have to wait. But anyway, yeah. So um, like I said, it has been such an amazing day since Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I was up since 6 a.m. Um, it started at 7 a.m. UK time. Hi, May. How are you doing? How's Dubai treating you? Yeah, it started those time. Um, it ended up at 3 a.m. at 3 p.m. But the amount of training and education and motivation that I got from these people, I am still blown away. I am still super shocked. Um, now it's all about 
taking actions on based on what I've learned, you know, like every time you uh, learn something, like if you're going through some sort of um, trainings, um, if you are ever learning something, the next thing you have to do is to take action. You cannot just be learning and learning and learning and not taking action because what happens if you do that, you're just going in circle. And actually, if you take learning and action alternatively, you're moving towards your goal, which is also something that I am trying to put into practice because I get into learning mode most of, most of the time. So now if you get into a proper time management and make sure you get very disciplined that every time you learn something, you do something, you learn something, you do something, it's like your foot, your left and right foot actually stepping forward towards your goal. So that's another um, strategy and some tricks and tips that I can leave you today that I actually learned from my mentor, Fraser Brooks. Amazing guy, brilliant guy, actually. Um... But yeah, those are the uh, top three things think things, things that I learned uh, during the success summit. If you'd like to watch this on replay, please make sure you type hashtag um, replay. And also, if you find value in this one, feel free to give me some love, some likes, some shares and um, comments. I would highly appreciate that. And um yeah, I just want to wish you a um, great Monday, a great week. Whatever you do, make sure you make it count. And once again, this is Ruby Schrader um, coming into your life here in the US. And I wish you um, a great week and uh, God bless you all. Thanks for joining me. I appreciate you guys. Bye.